to the next one, ladies and gentlemen. We do have our next guest. There he is, Ian Selig. Ian, looking good. How you doing? Doing well, Brent. How are you? I am doing well. Thanks for asking. And you are VP of Investor Relations at Safefold. It is ticker S A F E. That is correct. And I see, I see, you got some slides backstage, and there they are. Your presentation looks very nice. I'll let you have the floor, sir. Thank you very much, Brent, and good day, everyone. I'm delighted to be with you all today to discuss Safefold, uh, a truly unique investment in a world of me too ideas. Uh, I have about 20 minutes or so of prepared remarks. And hopefully we'll have some time at the end for some Q&A. Today's presentation is really broken up into two parts. The first walks through our business model, but then more importantly, the second describes the investment in SAFE. Uh, I think we'd all agree that uh, before we ever were to decide to invest in any company, uh, it's really important to understand the fundamentals of the business behind it. Uh, so to begin, SAFE is the first and only publicly traded company that's focused on owning a portfolio of ground leases. As Brent mentioned, uh, we're listed on the New York Stock Exchange and our ticker is SAFE. Um, and many of you may be familiar with ground leases, but for those of you who are not, uh, allow me to offer a brief primer on ground leases. They're actually very easy to understand. So what's a ground lease? So any piece of commercial real estate is literally just two components. Uh, it's the land and it's the building that sits on top of that land. And in a ground lease structure, we separate those components. And one party owns the land, and that would be us at Safehold. And another party leases that land for a long duration, typically 99 years. The tenants of that building are, in effect, the owners of that building. They're responsible for all expenses. They're under a triple net lease, meaning that they pay the taxes, the maintenance, the insurance, as well as any capital expenditures. Um, any net operating income or profits that that building kicks off is theirs to keep. However, at the termination of the lease, not only does SAFE get its land back, but it gets the building and all its improvements back uh, as well. So, you know, you have to ask yourself, why would a real estate investor consider such an ownership structure? We're all somewhat hardwired to believe that you must own the land and the building together. Well, a simple way to understand Safehold's business is to realize that every time someone buys a property, they're really buying those two things. They're buying the land and they're buying the building, but they are very, very different investments. The building is the higher return operating part of the business where all the leasing, managing and designing needs exist. And it makes it a very um, active investment. The land, conversely, is the quiet, passive, lower return part, much more like a bond, in fact. And the truth of the matter is, there's really no other place in the investment world where those two types of investments are forced to be together. Think about this for a moment. Um, in the corporate world, you do not have to buy the bonds of a company to buy its stock. That would be considered completely senseless, entirely inefficient. But that's what's been happening in the real estate world because there's never been a nationally scaled institution to acquire that land component and do it in a way that actually enhances the value of the building. And that's our value proposition. And the math is pretty compelling for building owners. By selling that relatively low return land to Safehold and by creating a properly structured ground lease, owners earn a much higher return on their buildings and they do it with less risk. And as you'll soon see, it's really a win-win for all of us. So Safehold has created three really important efficiencies for building owners. First, there's a capital efficiency because you're saving you know, huge amounts of upfront capital by not having to buy that land. Next, there are substantial cost efficiencies that are associated with the various friction costs every time that building sells, such as mortgage taxes, uh, brokerage fees, all which are based upon the entire value of both the land and the building. And lastly, and probably most importantly, there's significant maturity risk reduction on a large portions of that capital structure by replacing it with near permanent capital, you know, 99 year capital. So this whole idea 
of separating the land from the building via a ground lease has been around for centuries. And over that time, it's really proven to have been one of the greatest wealth creators for a very elite group of landowners. In New York, where I live, uh, the Chrysler building today is on a ground lease. Cooper Union University owns the land underneath the Chrysler building. Uh, Trinity Church owns much of downtown Manhattan and a lot of Wall Street is sitting on ground leases today. Some of the wealthiest families in New York have attained their wealth because some patriarch, you know, a hundred years ago realized that that land was going to be worth a lot of money and was able to pass that wealth on from generation to generation. London, another terrific example. The Duke of Westminster purchased West London uh, 150 years ago. Um, and at that time it was primarily apple orchards and swampland. Today, the royal family collects almost a billion pounds in ground rent every year. And probably one of the best examples of a ground lease is that picture on the bottom left-hand side of the slide. Um, and, the, and that's Hong Kong. The British leased that land from the Chinese, built this megapolis on top of this tiny little island and literally handed the keys back to the Chinese in 1997. But quite candidly, these ground leases of the past have had really less than a stellar reputation because most of these old fashioned archaic ground leases contain negative provisions such as arbitrary rent resets, required permissions for just about any improvement, and were really to be um, written to be one-sided toward the landowner, which would make these buildings value destroying um, um, for, and these leases value destroying for the buildings and not value enhancing and created two things that the markets despise as we all know, uncertainty and ambiguity. So at Safehold, we recognize that the problem is no one has taken this fundamental idea and modernize it to work in today's capital markets. Um, but there's really still more that makes any business really revolutionary. So many of the biggest and best companies today are being built by rethinking how things have historically been done and delivering fundamentally better solutions while delivering a better customer experience. Think about for a moment what Amazon has done for retail. Think about what Uber and Lyft has done for the taxi services. Think about what PayPal and Venmo has done for the payment processing industry. Utilizing this proven formula, Safehold is literally taking a $7 trillion real estate industry and making it more efficient and delivering a better customer experience. This idea is revolutionizing the way property owners think about their land and the buildings um, that sit on top of them. So let's see how our portfolio has penetrated the market since our inception. So at, at Safehold's IPO um, four and a half years ago in June of 2017, uh, our portfolio consisted of $300 million of ground leases. Safehold really gained traction in 2019 by closing $1.8 billion of deals and grew our portfolio to approximately $4 billion uh, today. And since we're focused on the top 30 markets in the United States, the best locations in the US, uh, I think it would be meaningful just to take a moment and appreciate the caliber of the institutional types of properties that SAFE invests. So the ground leases on this slide are just a sample of the types of properties in the top markets which SAFEHOLD has closed since our inception, all with high quality, world-class customers and sponsors. In fact, out of the nearly 100 assets in our portfolio today, half of them are with repeat customers, which is really evocative that our ground lease solution is working for them and quite validating that this capital solution um, is, and, and Safehold thesis is working as well. So now that we all have a kind of general understanding of Safehold's business model, let's get to the fun part and kind of why we're all here today and learn why Safe is such a compelling investment. So as I mentioned, four years ago, um, uh, when we took Safehold public, something really extraordinary happened. By putting a ground lease investment in a public vehicle, we democratized this investment. So what do I mean by that? Well, typically ground leases were the domain of churches, royal families, um, and universities, because quite frankly, who has 40 or $50 million to park for 100 years? I know I don't. 
but I do have $75 to buy a stock. Now, for the first time ever, this investment is available to the individual investor, you and I. And not only that, we can really express our opinions on ground leases every day. If we like ground leases, we could buy safe stock. If we don't like ground leases, we could sell safe stock. Think about that for a moment. We have turned a 100-year relatively passive investment and gave it daily liquidity. Now, that is powerful arbitrage. So Safehold was taken public by ISTAR, who's been in the real estate finance business for over three decades and completed more than $40 billion worth of, of real estate transactions. Not only is ISTAR Safe's founder, but it's also its manager and largest shareholder. Now, clearly having ISTAR's years of expertise in uh, real estate finance, net lease and sale leasebacks, along with their robust ownership position, is extremely important in SAFE's ongoing successes. Um, ISTAR has offices throughout the, the country, and I think we all know that real estate is a local business as well as a relationship business. But most importantly for us investors, an investment in SAFE contains three of the most significant characteristics that we should all look for in any investment, something that I like to call the trifecta of investment attributes. So let's review those for a moment. The first is principal safety, and that's just making sure that your capital is well protected. Our safe hold ground leases are literally one of the safest ways to invest in real estate since they occupy the senior most 35 to 40% of the capital structure. Akin to taxes and utilities, you must pay your ground rent. We're even senior to the leasehold lender, meaning that if that tenant doesn't pay their mortgage, well, what will happen? Well, the bank will come in foreclose. But when that bank comes in to foreclose, that bank will be responsible for paying the ground rent. So we're even senior to the bank. Plus having a diverse portfolio of many ground leases in the best locations in the US as an additional layer of safety. The second attribute contained with this investment, uh, and really the first component of value is growing income that's achieved through long duration, contractually escalating cash flow streams. Our modern ground lease portfolio is structured with 2% annualized rent bumps that compound over the life of the lease. And I think we all know the power of compounding. It's, it's literally a page out of Warren Buffett's playbook, I think Albert Einstein called uh, compounding the eighth wonder of the world. When you compare uh, comparable AAA-like bonds with a similar duration, this 2% compounding bump structure in our ground lease create excess returns exponentially um, greater than other um, investments with similar risk and maturity profiles. I'll get a bit more specific about these um, cash flows in a moment. Um, and lastly, the second component of value is this whole notion of capital appreciation, which is kind of just another way of saying, how can I get wealthy from this investment and then be able to pass that wealth off to my children and for generations to come? Well, to understand this attribute a bit better, let me remind you what I had mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, that at the expiration of the lease, not only do we get our land back, but we get the building and all of its improvements back as well. Now, I know many of you are thinking, because I've done this a few times before, that what does this really mean to me? I'm not going to be around in 99 years. But in a moment, we're going to examine this store of value in more detail, and you're going to understand why this is such an important element in investment in SAFEL. So let's go back and, and take a peek at these uh, uh, cash flows that I was just describing. As I mentioned earlier, the land is really akin to a AAA bond. However, when you compare the compounding escalating cash flows of Safehold's modern ground lease portfolio to the returns of very similar investment instruments, typically very long-term high-grade bonds, we can generate approximately 200 basis points of excess value. A great example um, of this is MIT's 100-year bonds. They're traded in the market every day with significant volume, and that's that gray bar on the bottom of the slide. And as you can see, those bonds um, trade at approximately 3% yield to maturity, while our ground lease portfolio generates about 5% yield to maturity. Now, in the AAA CMBS world, when you can generate 
10, 25, or 50 basis points uh, greater than your peers, you would literally be the best performing manager on Wall Street. We are generating uh, close to 200 basis points wide. And that's really remarkable. Uh, in fact, I don't believe that there's any other similar 100 year compounding cash flow stream in existence today with this type of growth. Now, let's go back and examine that second component of value in this investment, the capital appreciation piece in, embedded in our portfolio. So as you can see on this slide, when we IPO'd in June of 2017, we had $400 million worth of buildings that were sitting on top of the land that we own. As of today, that value is nearly $7 billion, reflecting an annual compounded growth rate of 89%. And while the store of value is not ours today, it will be someday because of SAFE's ownership rights um, at the termination of the lease. So this future ownership right, it's ours, it's tangible, uh, and it, it's, it's something that we can all count and, we, and, and every earnings call, we announce what this value is. We often like to compare this unrealized uh, capital appreciation account to a 401k, for example. Many of us have these types of liquid accounts. We can't touch them yet. Hopefully we have some smart folks managing that money for us. All right, full stop. Let's take a good look at this slide again. And, and, and just imagine you had $400,000 sitting in your 401k uh, four years ago, and you got your statement in the mail today and it told you that you had $6.7 million in your 401k. It's quite clear to me, and should be to you as well, that you'd be hard pressed to find any other asset class to have this significant type of growth. Importantly for our investors, we are presently working on strategies to monetize this UCA account without having to wait until these leases terminate. However, it's a bit premature to discuss this now in great detail today, but this UCA account will be an extremely powerful part of this investment as the business continues to scale. That being said, something that we can all kind of wrap our heads around is SAFE's overall stock performance since our inception. So let's review that for a moment. So as you can see on this slide, when SAFE IPO'd uh, in June of 2017, uh, we IPO'd at $20. And we closed yesterday at $74.22, uh, growing approximately 270% since our inception. The five middle bars on this chart uh, represent the five follow-on equity offerings we've had in the interim. And as you can see, they've all been very accretive. Uh, and I would certainly be remiss not to mention that SAFE has been the number one performing Navy member stock over the last two consecutive years. And we've recently been awarded investment grade credit ratings from both Moody's and Fitch, allowing us even more flexibility to access capital and positions us really well for continued growth. So what's the scope of the opportunity that lies ahead? Well, as I mentioned earlier, um, it's our estimation that there's approximately $7 trillion of institutional quality commercial real estate in America's top 30 markets. Now, if you were to take 35% of that, which is the approximate value of that land, that leaves an opportunity set of approximately $2.5 trillion. And presently, we're the only ones playing in that sandbox. And look, it's uh, that's a very big sandbox to be playing in. It's fantastic to be the first mover in any business, as we all know. And currently, we have no competition that's publicly traded. We're running the field alone. Um, and, you know, look, you know, there's lots of room out there for folks to come in. Um, um, but right now we are the only publicly traded company who has a, a pure playground lease company. We are revolutionizing real estate ownership by making it better, more efficient, and reinventing a big part of a $7 trillion industry by offering our customers higher returns with less risk. And for the first time ever, we have made investments in ground leases available to the individual investor, you and I, an investment that provides principal safety, growing income that's achieved through contractual cash flow streams, along with the opportunity for significant capital appreciation uh, in the future based on our future ownership of these buildings. So I know we've covered a lot in a very short period of time. So Brent, if there are questions, I'm more than happy to answer them.
Ian, I always love hearing from you. You are very well spoken, sir. We did have some questions. You were getting some good interest in the chat, but unfortunately we are up against the clock. But yes. I did want you to, you made an excellent point. I loved how you put it. And I just wanted you to kind of reiterate how you said it. You said, you know, uh, some people might not have a few million dollars to lock down for a century, but <laughs> say, say it again how you said it, because you're going to say it better than well, I just I said mean, it. Particularly in the types of buildings that we invest, friend, you know, you know, these are, you know, hundred million dollar buildings, for example. So in order to buy a ground lease, you would need to have thirty-five million dollars, which is thirty-five percent of you know the value of that property, to to park for for a hundred years. <laughs> and you know, like you know, may, there may be some of you folks out there who have that. I know I do not, but <laughs> I do have seventy-five dollars to buy a stock. So by taking this idea. Brand and putting a public wrapper around it, exactly. we have made investments in, in ground leases available to all of us. And yep. that's super powerful stuff. You know what I mean? To give this Absolutely. 100 year investment daily liquidity. Love it, Ian. Thanks for being here. Ian Selig, he is VP Investor Relations at Safehold. It is ticker S A F E. You have a great day, sir. Likewise, Brent. Thanks for having us.